Fitbit, Jabo, Nike, Fuel Band. Those are just a few of the many wearables you probably won't see on Apple store shelves going forward. As the company is set to release the Apple Watch next month, Recode found that Apple stores in New York, LA, and San Francisco are no longer carrying competing wearables. CEO of wearable company Mayo tells Recode that Apple notified her months ago their product would be removed from the store but did not attribute the change to the release of the Apple Watch. John, when we first got a glimpse of the Apple Watch in September, a lot of these companies said, well, our apps and our technology will still be compatible with it, but this could potentially be a blow to sales. Yeah, well, you can't buy a Samsung phone in an Apple store either, so not entirely a surprise. Also, Apple likes for people to play nice in their ecosystem. You might have noticed you didn't get the normal Starbucks uh, reference in the Apple keynote this time because Starbucks isn't really playing with Apple Pay, at least that's how I took it. Maybe that's not why, maybe that's not why, but they cited an entirely different thing. I mean, of course, uh, Tim Cook on the board of Nike and they've discontinued the fuel ban, but some of those others, yes, it's you versus Apple now. Hey, YouTube fans, I'm Landon Dowdy from CNBC. Thank you so much for checking out our channel. You can subscribe by clicking right here to check out the latest Mad Money CEO interviews, market news, financial advice, and product unboxing. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.